The Wisconsin Department of Transportation recently participated in a pooled fund effort, combining resources with other states to prove the effectiveness of an automated system for evaluating the air void structure of the concrete found in many of our highways and bridges. One of the most important properties of the concrete is, uh, is the uh, spacing factor or, or how far apart the air voids are in the concrete. We've got a network of microscopic air voids in the concrete that gives it freeze-thaw durability in our severe environment of the upper Midwest. Being able to confirm a proper air void structure during the course of construction can help ensure that the pavement will last. But performing this analysis has up to this point required a test called the ASTM C457 Linear Traverse of Hardened Concrete, which required six to eight person hours at the microscope by a skilled operator. Because of the labor-intensive nature of this test, um, the C457 was typically only used uh, for forensic applications where you're trying to troubleshoot why something went wrong with the concrete. Researchers at the Missouri Department of Transportation and Honeywell Federal Manufacturing and Technologies had developed a prototype of a new option called ACE for automated concrete evaluation that scans the concrete sample and uses pattern recognition software to record its air void structure. With the new system, you set up um, the sample, um, program in a few parameters, and push the button and walk away and come back a while later and it's, it's done. MoDOT led a national pooled fund effort to finalize this system. To validate the performance of the new automated system, a series of samples were sent to experienced operators uh, from nine different DOTs, and uh, the, uh, the results from each of those operators were statistically analyzed to determine um, how much repeatability or how much difference there was between different manual operators. These manual results were then compared to the results yielded by the ACE system on this same set of samples. The automated system was not only faster and much less expensive to operate, it also yielded results that were more consistent than the manual system. WISDOT is moving forward to acquire the ACE system. With pool fund participation, Wisconsin has gained first access to a transportation breakthrough at a much lower cost than non-participating states will incur later. From having this new technology, uh, Wisconsin DOT would like to be able to run tests uh, during the time of construction to verify that we have the proper air entrainment parameters in our concrete. This will assure that we um, will get durable pavements that will last a long time for the traveling public.